I want some of those chocolate diamonds. Only they work faster. You must work faster. Okay, here we go. group, the International Brotherhood of Palavans. I am your host and the founder of the group in 2012, James P. Madonna, as seen on the web, Progressive Discussions, Mega Life 21, and I am here with my uh, cl very close friend and partner and co-host, the one and only Mr. Jeff Zambello, in right now residing in New Brunswick, Maritime Province, Canada. How are you doing this week, Jeff Zambello? Outstanding, excellent training, getting ready for 100% um, drug-free, drug-tested uh, powerlifting under the International Powerlifting Federation, and I'm lifting in the USA PL um, division. Uh, that's the United States, obviously. And uh, that's April 6th. That's going to be in Augusta, Maine. So. Um, my ROTC professor, um, Colonel Kenneth Benway, um, might be coming to that event. He lives in North Carolina outside Fort Bragg. So I'm looking forward to seeing Colonel Benway. Um, been a long time. But he's, he power lifts. He's 74 years old. And he's drug free. He's in Vietnam. He's in Special Forces. And uh, so that's, that's it. That's what happens when you live a, a good life. You can still do these things. Well, in, uh, uh, middle age in, in into your, well into your golden years. Yeah, yeah, and and and, and that's, that's what the brotherhood of power bonds is all about. And your golden years does not have to be just your urine. And you know, I mean, the yeah. gold in the urine is not the only thing that has to be golden. In this case. You have done so much for two, 2019 to kick off the year. So many positive things are happening in, in your life with, and with your agenda and your ministry and your, your uh, natural drug-free uh, uh, alternative training workshops that are... In, in natural movement mobility. Right and re and rehabil and rehabil and rehabilitation, as well as uh, workshops that actually teach people a lot of things that they should know. Aside from all those, all those scamming uh, fad uh, seminars with the steel mace, where they just take your hard-earned money and. And, and you know, and charge you outrageous uh, fees to to learn very little, if not anything at all, with these seminars. And I know there are hero worshippers out there, lots of them, and including some people I know, hero worshippers. As long as people are out there making a fast buck, it, it apparently doesn't matter to them how they make the fast buck, uh, if it's ill-gotten gains or not, as long as they make a fast buck 
and uh, and uh, you know, car dealers, infomercials, uh, the, the 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 tall uh, man with the skinny mustache that does seminars with the steel mace, you know, uh, politicians. It's all the same. What you, you what you're doing is you're lying in order to fill your pockets. Yeah, it's underhandedness. It's uh, it's it's uh, the Bible mentions it many many times. <clears throat> Just saying. Exactly. Back. And what I also want to teach <clears throat> um, um, the men in uh, the men's ministry, uh, not just here, but in, into the United States, is um, about mental toughness and about when you're training. Like, even when you're on, on the incline treadmill, the guy next to you, oh, he's jogging, he's jogging. Okay. So what? Raise the incline. Raise the speed a little bit. Get your heart rate up to about 145. And play a mental game. Outlast them. Be mentally tough. Like Navy SEAL David Goggins. I've yeah. already read that book twice now. Well, well, I I locked horns when I used to do a book. When I used to it's his biography. Yeah. When I, when I used to work in Hoggins, the Navy SEAL tries to teach is way way beyond mental toughness. Yeah, that's true. And um, he teaches you how to dig way down inside, and he teaches you how to make yourself the king. Yes, it might be a little bit. Anti-Christian, as they say, but it's not just about ego. It's the ego he leaves outside. It's hard to explain. Do you ever have to read the book? It's about not hero worshiping others. It's about people, <clears throat> and this is very important for tonight's show. Let's go to the line with my with my brother James wants to to teach to teach tonight along the lines of Scooby as well and Ken Thiessen, our brother. And so what what is going to be happening in my um, men's ministry uh, for fitness and natural movement and mobility is just pure training your brain to go way above and beyond. Whether you want to, so say like you want to be a better intellectual. Read more books than you've ever read. Like you set a goal for this month. It's not just simple goal setting. Simple goal setting is boring, but this keeps you accountable. You make a little goals so that at the end of the month you've read a whole bunch of books. And oh, anybody can do that? Well, try doing it. I read the Bible four times a year, and and sometimes the Bible, especially the Book of Deuteronomy, is probably not the most interesting. So you've got to push yourself through it. You've got to see why. It's all about visualization. It's about visualizing, visualizing yourself getting the prize. The prize, mm -hmm. extra knowledge. The prize, a longer life. The prize, maybe a, a, a pretty new wife or a pretty new girlfriend. The prize, maybe losing 15 pounds. In one month, oh, he could lose fifty pounds. But go screw yourself. He lost uh, almost a hundred pounds in one month. You lose one pound, two pounds a day, three pounds a day. You push yourself. He exercised three times a day for two, three hours at a time. That's how badly he wanted to be Navy Seal. You can do anything you want. Well, hey, mental, hey, mental. You don't teach it full, full crap. Uh, untapped potential. Well, tap your potential. Tap it. I don't want to hear any more promises, all promises to get these yuppies in who will not use the gutter. They have to have a three hundred dollar orange or yellow or green. Yeah. Uh, mace that looks like a a playground material. You ever see go to a playground and show the colors of all the poles? Yeah. The hold up like the plastic slides. Well, the kettle, uh, yeah. the, the kettlebells are, are no, look, many of the kettlebells are looking like bitch bells, you know, all all shiny and chrome like. And, they don't, but how come they all kill somebody? Anyway, I digress. 
Yeah, but let's let me. Uh, 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 mental visualization has been around for decades. Do it. It's I a. Do it. my, you do it every day. It's you do it three times a day. Yeah, it's a you very visualizing six years down the road. Oh, I want to own a Chevy Iwas Z28 from 1985. No, you do it now. It's a. You ask that blonde girl or the redheaded, the beautiful redheaded girl with the big bosom with the freckles. And yes, I love women. Oh, you know what? So do it. Do it. Well, yes, I like wide well, lips and big boobs. Well, okay, I'm well, a man. Well, you know what? That's what I like. Uh, and you know what? Girls like uh, alpha men. Listen, they like men, manly men. Listen, when when I when I took like I was taking uh, Gracie style jujitsu for you know a, a, a few months, uh, and uh, because the schedule was hard for me. And he, uh, he, the trainer told me, you, you got to just suck it up and deal with adversity when it comes your way. You just got to suck it up and, and have tunnel vision and just look straight ahead, put your blinders on like a Clydesdale and focus, focus, and just, just barrel through. And, and men, mental visualization is a very powerful tool. And uh, now... You go way, way, way beyond that. Yeah, yeah, it goes way beyond that. Now, as far as the women, we read it again, and then we we'll have a nice show. Yeah, as far as the women go, yes, you can do mental visualization about your ideal partner in life, but yep. the pro, but yeah, the problem, but, but the problem, but but the problem, the problem I, is. I, 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 beautiful skin. I can smell the blood. Listen, of I, no, I gotta put the kibosh on on the women and the dating thing. In the United States, you see somebody who's who's your type, and they and they happen to like you. Well, supposedly they happen to like you equally, and then all of a sudden you start talking to them, and they try to size up your income. What do, what do you do for a living? Uh, 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 what, what, oh, ask these broads, and that's what I call them. Yeah. those monetary uh, broads. Yeah, a Asian girl. Want three in the morning. No, seriously, they want a guy, a nice man, to play footies with them under the blanket and hold them yeah. and touch them and kiss them. Yeah, but yeah, but like a lot of, uh, somebody told me like, like That's what it's some, somebody told me with Asian culture, it's, it's common for them to ask you about your job and income. I says, no, it's very rude and impolite very to ask rude. a man about his job and income and it's no one's damn business. That's right. And they right away, they want to know, none of your damn business. Uh, what about asking a man about his hobbies, his interests, his pa his passions in life? Don't they want to know about what the man is made of? Or, 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 don't they want to learn about the man? Right away, what do you do for a living? Oh, oh, you oh, you retired? What did you do before you retired? Up on goal. I mean... You're trying to size up the poor guy, uh, the poor sucker's income. You know well, what I mean? Know, they're actually doing you a favor. Yeah. Because you don't want them. But they make their own money. They they want equality. They're feminists. They make their own fucking money. They're saving their own money. They have jobs or. Yeah, career. My question is: these same jerks that make all this money, then then you, all of a sudden you see them go out with these poor suckers that are like twenty years younger than them. So it's okay to sleep with a boy toy, right? Right. And meanwhile, a guy their own age, you know, they, they, they want to see uh, his connection to Goldman Sachs. This like is the governor this of is New Jersey. this is what and I remember. I want to see the connection to Goldman Sachs. Listen, you know what? The yeah. den of thieves. This... And all this money. You know what? You're not a humble girl. This, okay. this is what I saw as a personal trainer, and Ken. Somebody who wants to hold you. Listen, Ken. You rub feet. You rub her feet. Ken. Yeah. When you're in the shower together, you put soap on her back. You she put soap on your back. Wash. Yeah. Uh, there's yeah. A, there's always hope where there's water and soap. Ed Norton on the honeymoon said that. Now Ken Thiessen noticed the same thing, but Ken, Ken uh, doesn't want. Doesn't want to bash anybody. Uh, me, I don't care. Okay, it's not right. Ken's fun. All right, no. that's his business. I, uh, listen. You and I both respect Ken. Listen. Because Ken is a real athlete. Listen. He actually goes into a wrestling ring. Yeah. He has other But guys. listen.
personal training, personal training. I saw with my own eyes the yeah. the the cougars, the older women that are divorce divorcees. They got big yeah. butt. They got big bucks. You know what they want? You know who they hire for a personal trainer? The boy toys. They hire the boy toys. In, it, well, even if the guy's got a cute face, they want him as the personal trainer. Now the point is, instead of going for an ex experience, instead of going for the for the older trainer with education, with training, with experience, with with knowledge, with life experience. Oh no, they don't want him. They want the boy toy. So yeah. so or the jacked up juice head. They'll hire. Oh, yeah. of course, he gets a lot of clients. Well, right? I want to look like. Oh, I want to look like you. But you, but you know the motherfucker. You know the mother. Yeah, but Jeff, the motherfucker doesn't tell the client. Oh, you want to look like me? Oh, but they never say that they're on the juice. They always say, "Oh, I have great genetics. I'm, I'm all natural. Oh, I'm, I'm huge because I got perfect genetics." Oh, okay, yeah, right. And these cougars. Should ask these uh, personal trainers who pays your rent? Oh, my girlfriend does. Who buys the food for your partners? Oh, my girlfriend and my mother do. These guys don't even pay for their cell phone bill. Hey, even 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 the greats like Franco Colombo and, and Arnold Schwarzenegger, Joe Weider was I heard was supporting their ass uh, uh, predominantly, not entirely, but also own their own condominiums. Like Arnold was invested in real estate as soon as he gets to Santa Monica, Santa Monica, California. Yeah, but Arnold. Arnold was, uh, Franco. Yeah, but so Arnold. Franco is a tradesman from Italy. Yes, Franco Colombo knew masonry like like a lot of Italians do. They know masonry. Yeah. They know how to. They even know how to lay lay tile like granite in the bathroom bathroom yeah. tiles. They're very good at laying tiles, but they had to win their first contests. To get some, you know, some savings going, and uh, you know, Joe Weider uh, made sure that these guys were, you know, were sufficiently taken care of. But you know, the same thing is. The or was Joe Weider a fair man? Uh, well, Joe Weider was a businessman. I got to be honest with you. But Joe, I picked his favorite, and then all the other guys he picked him a pittance. Yeah. To lie to high school kids who bought Muscle magazine. Nah, he hold they they, he, they they did photos of that like Dave Draper holding up Joe Weider products. I owe everything to Joe Weider products. I yeah. owe my physique and my I won contests because I take Joe Weider's products. His yeah. products were, were were full of cheap soy protein and sugar. Yep. That's what they were. That's what they, they were. Like chalk. And and Joe Weider would have never been who he was in California if it was not for Bob Hoffman of the York Barbell Company, because he trained Weider. He he was a York man. He was a York trained man before he went to Los Angeles, and and was given the name Master Blaster, like a certain someone was given the name Mister uh, Mace Man. You know, somebody gave him the nickname. I he was a wrestling coach. Because, because, yeah, a wrestling coach of, of practice dummies gave him the nickname because uh, there were perhaps hero worshippers. And, uh, hey, even, even Bruno San Martino didn't name himself the living legend. Other people did it. But, but, but Bruno uh, paid his dues. Let's put it that way. That's right. Even look at his physique. I posted Bruno today from the Boston Garden. It's B O S D U N Boston. Boston Garden. G A H D I N Garden. I got to find the interview of Bruno when he was young by the guy who used to do the commentary for the Bo the Boston Garden, and I ha I found the uh, an interview. In yeah. All events. Yeah, I find, yeah, a lot of Even great. Even more so than the Bruins or the Celtics. A lot, a lot of great, a lot of, a lot of sold out events at the Boston Garden of, of the WWF. 
professional wrestling. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. You're right. Worldwide Wrestling Federation. Federation. When the father, the guy with the guy with integrity, when the father, Vince McMahon Sr., ran the operation. And uh, 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 it was there. There was the Philadelphia, Philadelphia Spectrum, the Baltimore Civic Center, Madison Square Garden. But Boston Garden has a huge history of, of athletic events. And, uh, you know, but Bruno was a competitive champion power lifter in the late 1950s. Yep. Before he ever got into professional wrestling. He was a, he was a power lifter. Like Ivan Putsky was a power lifter. And, and uh, the background on Bruno, on how strong he was before he went to the JCC, the Jewish yeah. Community Center. Yeah, a, a, a Jewish friend, a friend from school felt sorry that he was getting beat up by the kids in school because of his accent and because he couldn't speak much English. And uh, Bruno was literally starving to death when he came to the United States. And uh, his mother, God rest his soul, kept the kids alive in the mountains when the Nazis in entered, invade, took over their town. Wow. And they were in the mountains in the snow and everything. And Bruno had rheumatic fever and almost died. And, and you know, this is why he was very close to his mother. Uh, for obvious reasons, and the father was in the United States in the steel industry in Pittsburgh. Mm -hmm. Bruno's father was in the steel industry. But anyway, let me get the formalities over with. Ten lucky bells for the show. Hotel. watching this show? I don't know. I saw, I saw a number one appear, and then it vanished. This is the... <laughs> this. This is this hotel bell represents This hotel bell represents Jeff Zambello's New Jersey base office at the Hilton Hotel on Polly Fly Road in Hasbro Heights, New Jersey. And then Right, and now we have Ed Norton's bell from the honeymooners. Oh, oh, Thelma, could you please enter the dining area? With my coffee, I would like two lumps. If you keep on ringing that bell, you'll get two lumps. All right, now we got the shofar. The trumpet of truth. All right. And may I please have the... The wonderful item obtained uh, uh, in Newport, Rhode Island. Yes, but before that, you're going to hear and see authentic jingle bells. I call them the levity bells when any time we say something funny. Okay, here we go. A little... In Southampton, New Jersey, on, on, on uh, September 22nd, 2019. At the USA powerlifting event. Yes, and, and drug free and drug tested. And you promote all these events on the International Brotherhood of Polyvons as well as this show. Okay, little Bosun, little Bosun's whistle prematurely, but it, it, it's it's a lovely sound. <whistles> all right, and you will hear now it. The show is official. You will hear it's now. It's. A, now it is official, and uh, uh, at the end you'll hear the uh, Jews harp. But um, uh, speaking of official, I, I purchased a very large family pack of Pollock fillets from all these for only four dollars and change. And uh, Pollock hap is just a, um, a pack of protein. It's it's a very inexpensive cod. It, it's a member of the cod family. But it is the most inexpensive. But I don't care because it's a cod. It comes from the ocean. As long as it's fresh and from, you know. Made by God. <laughs> yes, from the sea. I don't have any problem. Like at the BJ Steakhouse. Yeah, unless you make me barnacle soup, then I, then I, or cream of barnacle, I then I have to like, you know, complain a little bit. But you know, otherwise, uh, um, 
You like my, oh, I got the beautiful wine glass. It only cost me a dollar in the Dollar Tree. Look at it. I got Taylor Port wine. In there. Oh, James, how much of that, how much of, of that liquor have you been drinking, you bully you? Yeah. <laughs> that, does that remind no, you of something? Let's not worry about that. Let's worry about who's fucking Kashi. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. Now let us sink our piranha teeth into the in the, all right, let us let us sink our per, let us sink our piranha teeth into the tittle of this show. Or, or the title. Okay, I'm going to read the tittle. I mean, the title of the show, and then we are going to sink our piranha teeth into it. Attention, numbskull American gym owners, ditch. The Steel Mace Fad Crooks Book Palavan Kashi Azad. You know, Kashi Azad is coming to Southern Connecticut, coming to the New York, actually most likely landing in JFK Airport uh, in, in April. I believe for the first time, he's flying all the way from Sydney, Australia. God knows how many hours the poor soul is going to be cramped on a plane. Maybe, maybe 30 hours uh, total. Who knows? He's coming to do an event at uh, Yuri's Gym in Southern Connecticut. Uh, the promoter is uh, Donna King. I mean, Kelly Manzone. Uh, and um, I don't see any other alternative gym owner. In, in the Northeast, let alone the East Coast, booking this man because he's going to be already here on the East Coast. He's going to be here physically and uh, take, nobody has taken advantage of the fact that of this true Palavan, this man of honesty and integrity, this true Persian Palavan is going to be on the East Coast and I don't see any gym owners booking this man in advance. Shame on you. You're despicable. Shame on all of you. Uh, Even with the 50 mile radius, uh, do not compete clause. I mean, I mean, where are they? How come they're not jumping on the, the, the bandwagon of taking advantage of, of the fact that this man is going to be in legend? The, he's going to be on the East Coast, for God's sakes. You know, uh, all of them, all the gym owners from the the the, the tip of the uh, uh, of the cock. I mean, the tip the tip of Maine. Well, actually, Florida looks more like a like a cock anyway. From the tip of Maine down to the schlong, to the end of the schlong of the state of Florida to Miami, I don't see any of these. Uh, hardcore MMA or alternative gym owners booking this great man. But who do they? Who do they book? Who do they book? I'll tell you who they book. They book all the charlatans with this fucking steel mace fad that's going on today, charging people several hundred to a thousand dollars a head and teaching them really very little, and including not the history of circular torque training. <laughs> oh, oh, you get the little the, the little Jack's joke shop a diddly dick the, a certificate at the end. Ooh, that's Maybe right. You, you're better off getting a, a ticky a dirty ticky towel full of semen. Uh, 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 you have sixty dollars. You very handsome. Oh, you're very handsome. Oh, sixty dollars. You not so handsome. Ah, uh, um, Alec. Ah, oh. oh, you, you engaged to, oh, you miss a, you miss a Alec Doyle, you engaged to my daughter, you, you, uh, you what, you, you business owner now, oh, you are very handsome, even though you look like fucking peach fuzz with no teeth, you, you look like leprechaun, you very handsome man. Oh, you better be business owner. You marry, you marry my daughter. Yeah, right. 
Yeah, so anyway, skinny mustachioed guy, uh, he, uh, he makes everybody sweat their balls off doing 100 uh, swings with a light steel mace. And then he tells stories and anecdotes and dotes and uh, limericks and whatever, and, and he laughs. And, of course, resort. Right, and, and then he steals from Jake Shannon and Carl Gotch about the 10 o'clock, 2 o'clock, 3 o'clock cock. You know, we're going to rock around the cock tonight. And he, he steals he the... bridges with the Vaseline saturated olive branch. Ah, uh, the, 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 the olive branch saturated in... In, in in KY jelly and astroglide that was that was twisted up the rectum of Donna King and Paul Gray who 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 played a big violin one time crying the blues making that video that he posted on on his profile profile he posted it crying about how that bridge will never be mended but guess what. It was mended instantly by the witchcraft of the warlock of Southern California who took him out and whined and dined him like a bitch with big breasts. He whined and dined Paul Gray. Gee, that was really fast, that forgiveness, wasn't it? Mr. Jeff Zambello, that was a very fast forgiveness. The Burrito King. The man who lives in a country club but eats a burrito through a drive through for dinner every night. Every night. Then you know what a burrito has. It has cheap. I don't have mitochondria. It has cheap filler. It has cheap white rice filler. I don't, I don't, li I don't live to eat. I eat to live. Jeff Zambello. I said, well, what are you going to talk about all night? Oh, we're going to talk about how wonderful my seminar was. Oh, oh that's exciting. Oh, look at me. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah, clear out. Oh, you want to hydrate after uh, three hours of 90 degrees in humidity? You want to drink ice cold water? No, no, everybody out of the gym. Clear out of the gym. I got to talk business with Daniel Ramsey. You want to talk business with Daniel Ramsey? Well, guess what? Daniel Ramsey already gave you the envelope with the cash. Uh, so, uh, ipso facto ergo, there was no discussion of real business. And this man, Jeff Zambello, has, he has master's degrees in finance and accounting. He knows, he knows how to go through everything with a fine tooth comb. So you're not going to... The networking and marketing ploys Tactics. You I'm yes. North Carolina was a couple of the attendees from that state. Could have been in Virginia. Wasn't it Could funny? Have been in Pennsylvania. Isn't it funny? I've won in Montreal, Quebec. Hey, I'm doing the uh, the Ed Norton a bell and the jingle bells at the same time. Wow, that's a great sound. That's unique. Hey, he lost Manassas, Virginia. He he tried really hard sucking up to the poor the poor soul that had to pick him up at Newark Liberty Airport, right? And, and he he tried to he tried to get that gig. And yeah, I wonder what, what uh, that poor guy in the it's, it's, it's the New Jersey State Troopers. Move on, move on, you can't play a game. Ah, got that guy. You try to slow down, looking for the person you're picking up. Oh, keep on moving. Keep on moving. No, no, no stopping. Keep on moving. You got to go around. You got to go around. You know, you know who I'm picking up? I'm picking up Mr. Mace Man. Oh, who the hell is that? Keep on moving. Keep going around in circles there. Hey, I think Jack. I, I think. I think Jack, is, Jack of Jack's Joke Shop would love the props I have on these shows. When you get a cut. Oh my a God. Cut. Like when, when, when certain people go overseas to get a cut from bringing uh, the cash of amazes. Uh, isn't that funny uh, how the he made fun of that poor man, that poor gym owner in Belfast, Ireland, 
who almost uh, had a decapitated uh, uh, a gym member, and then uh, because of the evil monkey detachable mace, I mean, I mean the uh, loadable mace. I'm sorry. And then there was the uh, the seminar in Italy where Mr. Mace Man tried to book an event with one of his competitors that was a little too close to his gym. And yeah, the but, but the other guy caught wind of it and wasn't too pleased. Yes, and, but, but, but Rick was mocking him by, by saying the guy was upset. Ha, 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 ha. He was probably said, what the hell's the matter for you? I fly you all the way from Los Angeles to California. I put you up in a hotel. I feed you. I give you transportation. I give you young succulent uh, the, 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 the interpreter. Interpreter. And then you go and you screw me behind my back. You go, you, you go to my competitor. Man, to, man, who does a self-paying homage? To the, to the ancient masters of 3,000 years ago. Because I guess when you buy a cell phone, you don't pay homage to Alexander Graham Bell, okay? Well, you know, you know what the thing was, what, what was funny is he, 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 he talked against, he criticized privately, he criticized on it for not teaching the history of circular training because on it graduates knew nothing about the history of circular training, right? Then he turns around and he does the same thing that Anit did. He doesn't teach the history of circular torque training either. He doesn't do it. But no, I don't think any of these steel mace seminar people teach the history and 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 show respect to circular torque torque training. I bet you Kashi does. Oh yeah, Kashi has a deep respect. Because he's actually gone to training with ancient, uh, with, with master teachers. Because Kashi's a Palavan and a head coach of Palavani, and he's Persian. Kashi, yeah. Kashi's the head coach, the head international Palavan competition coach of Australia and the South Pacific. So wow. Kashi is involved with international Palavani competition. He oh, and he and he, and he makes wow. he makes authentic Persian meals and shena boards and sangs, which which are the shields, and the one, the wood? yeah, the big the ones that look like uh, saloon doors, like two saloon doors. Yeah, yeah, the the sang and uh, uh, the uh, the thing that represents the bowl. The one piece of wood, right? Well, they're they're actually they're actually two, and you and you lie on your back, and you and you. No, 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 no. I'm not talking about the the the, the, the thing. I'm talking about his version meal. They're traditional conical shaped yeah. uh, Persian meals made from one solid one piece. piece of wood. Not not plywood glued together like Helder gangrene. I mean gandra. Helder Gandra, not cheap plywood uh, glued together. God knows what Mike Rominsky uses. But Kashi's all about quality. He's all about quality. F forget He's about what, forget about what Paul Taris. Look it up on Google. Taris Walker Winsky, uh says on Mike on uh, Rosewater Kinetics page about elite products, the very finest wood money can buy. Forget about that. Kashi's products are high quality products, the best money can buy, and they're authentically made the Persian way, the Palavani way, the Zirkine way. They're made the proper way, and he he is so generous that he is giving his students who signed up for his seminar this April. They're going to get a pair of Persian meals. And one mm -hmm. and one Shenna board for being in his seminar. <laughs> members of his class. For being members of his class. I don't see anybody else giving uh, uh, any of these uh, Western or should I say American uh, uh, steel mace people giving their 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 students. There's a problem at a side table. You don't you don't get anything but 
but expensive wallpaper, like, like, like a placemat at the International House of Pancakes, it looks like. It's, it's a certificate that has no, and I repeat, no academic value. That's what, that's what you get. You don't get no shenna board. You don't get a pair of real Persian meals. You get ripped off is what you get. You don't get the history of uh, circular training. What about the free bottle of water? It's free water. Ice cold free. No, you can't have that because because Mr. Mace Man cleared out the gym. Hey, why was that? Because he had a he had a prospect for his next gig. <laughs> because Daniel Ramsey said his cut was already in an envelope. Business was signed, sealed, and delivered. I'm yours, like the song. Mm. Signed, sealed, and delivered. I, I still, I still don't understand why. Signed, sealed, delivered. I'm yours. I'm yours. Dun, 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 ba, da, ba. I carry a Hey, James, you bully. Oh, you, you cad, you, you bully. You, how much of that alcohol have you been drinking? You, you bully. You. Well, let me tell you something. Bully. He, um, I really, for the life of me, don't understand why, why Daniel Ramsey gave uh, uh, Rick Brown those compliments. Uh, hey, boss, at, how you doing? You know, unless, of course. Uh, he, not yet. Unless, of course, he made he made a decent profit at the uh, New Breed Fitness. Maybe that's why he gave him compliments. But he wouldn't let the new people, you know, give jobs to like ninety thousand people out there in Alberta to build pipeline. It's, uh, manufacturers in Bali that, that build the pipe in uh, Ontario. He, uh, uh, a civil engineer company. He got a telephone call. So they can, you know, have a one of the the refineries. Anyway, he uh, uh, Jeff Sambello is on a very, very long, heavy-duty project right now. He, he's 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 overwhelmed. I'm back. I'm back. I had to talk real business. Yeah, he's overwhelmed. He's he's a one man. I can eat two masters degrees for. He's I digress. He's a one. He's a one-man gang. He's overwhelmed. He, he, he is unjustly overwhelmed, but he's overwhelmed just the same. Uh, 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 you know what I mean? I think, I, like I told my brother Scott, at your age, with your experience, you should be delegating to other competent people. I used to when I was a place where I was Cooper. Delegate. We were talking about that some other time. That's another story. Delegate. Delegation. Exactly. Yes, but yeah, if, but unfortunately, that. if you have, if you have a company CEO or president or whatever they want to call themselves, if you have one that is a fucking skin flint that doesn't. Anyways, anyways, I get, let's change the subject here, guys. Um, yeah, uh, let's get back to the follow-up. Yes. Okay. Thank good. You. All right. Now, now, uh, 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 yes, because uh, anyway. Now, why aren't, why aren't, yeah, I was talking about Daniel Ramsey gave uh, Mr. Maceman compliments because maybe Daniel Ramsey made a profit that day, you know, made a reasonable profit that day. From I the, hope he did. He's a good man. Yes. He treated my son very, very well. Yes. I, I mean, I wouldn't have, I wouldn't have bent over backwards and gave a charlatan like Mr. Maceman those accolades, those compliments, but you know, maybe he made money that day. Hey, what the hell, you know, you know, but that's him. He's a grown well, man. Well, he had to go home and do it, you know, his family and, you know, make some money for the family. Well, who, whose family? Uh, 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 Daniel, or are you talking about the skinny mustache? The, guy. the one with he, the skinny mustache. Home and, you know, well, we didn't, we didn't spend time with him. Uh, I mean, uh, yeah, we only we only spent like an hour and a half with him when he first when he first uh, when he first got when he first went on when he first got um, 
uh, what's the word when you arrive at a hotel? A uh, uh, booked, registered? Check in. Check in. There you go. There you go. When he first got checked in to, to the Hilton Hotel, we only spent an hour and a half with him. Then he he claimed he had to take a 4 a.m. flight back to LAX. Anyway, Kent Thiessen is here. Hello, gentlemen. I Yay! am... I, I am on for a couple of minutes before I drive home. Anyway, here's for Kent Thiessen, the Ed Norton Bell. Oh, Thelma, could you please enter the dining room? With my coffee, I would like two lumps. You keep ringing that bell and you'll get two lumps. All right, I just had to do that for Palomar and Kent Thiessen. Yeah, but he is a Palavan. Uh, pa Palavan and pa Palomine, too. He's still combatant. He is a... Uh, he gets the ring and fights other tough guys. Yes, uh, a grappler, uh, personal trainer, extraordinaire grappler, uh, head of Akara USA, former WWE professional wrestling star. The man with a big heart who teaches other people how to make uh, training, which could be expensive training tools. He teaches... People with moderate means how to make quality training tools with for little money. He also is a character actor who appeared on Saturday Night Live with Adam Sandler, the guy that, that sounds like a retard, but anyway, you know, he, he's 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 a celebrity, Adam Sandler, and and The View, where where the ladies really. Uh, um, they wanted to jump his beefcake bones. But anyway, that's another talk show. But anyway, he is who he is, like Popeye. He's in Boca Raton. He's in Boca Raton. He's in Boca Raton, Florida. Ken is always talking about other people. Ken never talks about himself. Well, let me tell you about let me tell let me tell you about Ken Thiessen. He really represents what you would call a car USA because he is an expert at making hardcore homemade Indian jewelry clubs and goddess. And he, he trains people in the Akara way where you cl climb rope, you dig with the hoe. I don't mean the hoe. I don't mean like a prostitute. You know, it's a farm tool. You dig with the ho, 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 ho. You know, in that clay dirt, he has people digging. Yeah, some of us dig hoes. <laughs> yeah, we dig hoes. <laughs> no, Joy, 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 Joy Beho. Joy Behar is the Beho. <laughs> Joy Beho. Behar is not swinging too much lately. You know, she looks a little chubsy ubsy there. Ken Thiessen, I got the show far, the trumpet of truth. That's for Ken Thiessen. He is a true. If I had 10 quadriceps, I'd be like squatting like 700 pounds. Quadriceps. You see how big his quadriceps are on my guy? They're like tree trunks from an oak tree. Yeah. You know, I enjoyed. You. you I made you a banner? No, did I? Oh, you made a banner. I can make banners. But I'm afraid to make a banner because every time I post a, a, one of my fancy banners on somebody's profile, they take it off. Like Paul Taris, Wokowinski, Rick Brown. I, I made happy birthday Rick Brown real fancy with his astrology sign there and everything. He takes it off. Or, you don't have permission to post anything. Uh, to upload anything on my page, you must get permission. You know what? James hey, P. Madonna, you know, get permission. I got an itch. I got the. You know who I am? I got an itch right in the middle of my forehead. I got to get permission to say happy birthday in a fancy way. Hey, I got an itch right in the middle of my forehead. I got to scratch it. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. I put time into those banners. I made him fancy. It's the thought that counts, right? But did you give your time? When you give your time to someone, that's the most obvious. And we are going to see Ken Thiessen sometime this year in 2019. 
The next time Kimmy goes to uh, uh, to see his family in uh, Long Island, New York, I pray to God that it's at the same time as there's a power of the meat in the northeast of the United States. Yeah, but so Jeff. I want to go to Foles now but, but, and have some of that Alaskan king crab that your sister had there at that time. And it was, it was, it was, it was Kimmy. Yeah, but we don't forget. We can always mosey on well, we down. We we can always mosey on down to South Florida, Jeff, too, and and spend some quality time in the lovely South Florida and and and, and hang out with Ken too and and uh yeah, uh, uh, uh South Florida. You have these meets in, in the northeast there. Well, anyway, well, to go to a meet, you have to eat a lot. You have to eat a lot of meat, like a black Angus ribeye steak, right, in order to prepare for a meet. I eat what a middle-aged man is supposed to eat that doesn't want to get diabetes and heart disease. So, but you know, uh, but listen, I don't, I don't pull six hundred pounds listen, anymore. I don't have to with a deadlift. Listen, um, I'm probably gonna pull uh, in April, probably two hundred kg, which is four forty, uh, maybe two ten, four sixty-two. Yeah, everybody says, oh, that's not a lot of weight. Well, if you're fifty-four years old. Uh, it's okay, <laughs> and it's not great. Now, uh, now, Jeff and I. Oh, can... uh, uh, I was thirty-five. I pulled over six hundred. Okay, so you know, big shit. Yeah, I, I am who I am. Who I am. I right? am what I am. What I am. What I am. Yeah, 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 yeah something. Worse. Listen, so, me, uh, Ken. You know, my feet, they could kiss my Italian ass. Listen, Ken. We were discussing. Actually, my theory. <clears throat> Ken only has two minutes. Hold on. Uh, Ken, we were discussing about how Palavan and Persian, Kashi Azad, is flying very far from Sydney, Australia, this April to Southern Connecticut. But we don't see any other gym owners booking Kashi Azad when they know he's going to be in the Northeast. Up and down the East Coast, all, alternative alternative gym owners could be booking this man, this true Polyvon, but are they doing it? I don't see it. It's crazy. What is he supposed to do? Do an event in Connecticut and then fly another 30 hours back to Sydney, Australia? This is the, the title, I mean the title of the show. That's primarily it. And then we were talking about personal trainers. We're how, trying to help the guys. How, how, how can we be bullied? I'm not a bully. No, like the cougars. The cougars with money. The older women with money only want to hire the boy toys, Kent Thiessen, as personal trainers. Or the or the young, but they got to be a, a boy toy juice head. They, they want boy toys instead of experienced, competent, qualified, older personal oh, trainers. I love me. I love me, boy toys. Oh, lovely! <laughs> well, I spent my husband's money flying three thousand miles. Well, there is a certain woman who doesn't work, <laughs> who doesn't work, that used to used to live in the galaxy in Weehawken, New Jersey, overlooking the Hudson River, oh. and now she resides in a house that she owned in Southern California. Never mentions her husband, never posts his photographs, but she goes to every single event known to man. She flies all over. She's from Denmark originally. She's uh, wears spandex like Kelly Manzone, you know, with the with the camel toe and the and the Krakatoa in the back. And uh, she her, never mentions the poor so sucker. Funny. And guess what? The husband pays for everything, but she never mentions her husband or shows his photograph. No, no. She, she gets pampered. I, I hear firsthand. Mr. Mace Man told me on the phone oh, that she sorry. goes to health spas and, and gets pampered. She probably oh. has some young boy toy massaging her and, and uh, get, giving her acupressure, if you know what I mean. Or maybe, uh, as they say in Spanish, lengua pressure, if you know what I mean. Mm -hmm. Langua pressure. All mm -hmm. right. Kent Thiessen says, Kashi really is terrific. You bet, you bet your, uh, what, what is the, 
Choosy Choose Candy. Yo, bet your life I eat Choosy Choose. Ah. All right. Cashy is really terrific, very passionate. He needs a better promoter. Yeah, what can? Just think about it in a logical way. Not promote him. That's what we're doing. We are the better. James, are you not the better promoters? I yes, think. we are. Listen, we're this guy like crazy. I just thought of something. I just thought of something. Pablo. We don't want to cut. We want Kashi to keep all the money. We don't need the money. Kashi Swing, Kashi Swing. Oh, that's the ABBA song about money. Listen, this is. You beautiful Swedish woman from ABBA. You're so beautiful. Even to this day. It's like Stevie Nicks is. Stevie Nicks, a free of Mac. And even that. Uh, 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 Chrissy, uh, what the hell's the name there? Chrissy Brinkley. She also aged very well, too. Chrissy Brinkley? Listen, no, no, no. I just thought of something. McVie. Pro, Re Pro Wrestling. Chrissy McVie or Christy McVie. Even pro, even pro Wrestling promoters. They remember when the Iron Sheik used to bring his Persian clubs in the ring. Kashi Azad's the real deal. He can even be booked by pro wrestling promoters that want to do a seminar. He Why could not? be booked from, the, from not only from Maine to Florida, but he can be booked west to Pittsburgh, to Chicago, to Texas. Why aren't these gym owners booking Kashi Azad? It doesn't make sense. Ken Decent, it's illogical. The guy's flying. He's, he's on, a, on a plane for 30 hours. He's got jet lag galore. You know, and he's not being booked. What the hell is wrong with these alternative gym owners? Let's add, let's let, let's ask the uh, let's dabble in a little mysticism. Oh yeah, my ancient wise copper divining rods. Oh copper copper divining rods. Do you feel it is extremely stupid and illogical that these gym owners are not booking Kashi Azad by this time? Yes, a big yes. Okay. Well, let's pray for Kashi that he gets. He, I think he will. I can't see why he wouldn't. Yeah, they're numbskulls. Yeah, no, 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 no forgiveness for them. These alternative gym owners are they numbskull, uh, uh, lame brains, uh, 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 imbeciles, and knuckleheads? Is that why they haven't booked Kashi aside by now? Yeah, yeah, they did knuckles of dragon on on the floor. Yes, the divining rod says, uh, should they, uh, uh, being that we are about almost a month away from April, should they have already contacted the great Kashi Azad and booked him already, these American gym owners? Yes. That was a big yes, Jeff. Ah, uh, yes. The Ooh. The copper divining rods, no wall. The copper divining rods. Uh, do you think that many of these gym owners after the show will see the light like like the Holy Spirit and, and, and suddenly brain cells would be stimulated? Hmm. Yes, really? I would be very shocked if a gym owner... The bridge was mended. The, the unmendable bridge was mended with a, with a baffling saturated... All a branch, then why cannot the Kashi put um, an extra gig? Do you uh, think? I mean, do you think of the copper divining rods that uh, that uh, they're not they're, that some of these gym owners are not the brightest bulbs on the Christmas tree? Oh, Christmas tree! Oh, Christmas tree! Yes. They're not the brightest bulbs. Uh, but, uh, they should have booked. You got to book an event at least a month ahead of time. And, and I haven't seen it done yet. This poor man is flying very far. For what? Just for Connecticut? And then he's got to fly all the way back to Sydney, Australia? Give me a break. Christmas in April. What is that song? It's springtime in Germany for Hitler or somebody. It's beginning to look a lot like 
Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Jingle bells. Wait a minute. Unbelievable. Unbelievable how Kashi Azad has not been booked solid. Solid as a rock. Like the like the old song. Solid as a rock. Ashley and Simpson. Ashley and Simpson? Ashley. Sorry, Ashley and Simpson. Not Bart Simpson or Homer Simpson. The other another Simpson, right? Uh, anyway, Kashi, uh, yes. Uh, oh, wait a minute. There's more. There's more people. There's more commentary. Hold on. Oh, uh, yes. Ah, uh, yes. Uh, 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 Dor, Dor from uh, um, from Thailand has joined us. She is a Thailand. big, yes. The lovely Dor, the wonderful singer Dor, the most beautiful, the most beautiful angelic voice in all of Asia from Thailand. She loves this show. Kent Thiessen says. They don't know about Kashi. They don't know about Kashi. They, they're into circular training. They don't know about Kashi. Wait a minute. Kashi's booked in Yuri's gym. Who is the by, national director or the boss of the all this? Everybody knows Kashi. Yeah. I mean, I mean Kelly, Kelly, Kelly Calzone. Kelly Calzone is like the, the big promoter when it comes to the Steel May seminars and all this all the bullshit seminars. She's a big promoter now, and she's she's bringing Kashi in. So I don't... I dare you keep your hands together. Oh yeah, uh, uh, Kelly Kel Kelly Calzones uh, did a did a video with her hands far apart, and then right after, uh, Paul Terrace Walker Whiskey. I'm asking the divining rods a question. Kelly Calzone. I've never seen a baseball player swing a bat with his hands apart. Except when you're bunting the ball. Only in golf. No, hockey. In hockey, you swing a hockey stick with your hands apart. Right. But not a baseball bat. Right, exactly. Now, where was I? Kelly Calzone does a video with her hands far apart swinging a mace. Then all of a sudden, Paul Terrace Walkowinski does a video talking about the importance of keeping your hands apart. Ah, really, Paul? Uh, and then uh, uh, he was caught with a Bella Lugosi smile, you know, le leering at the butox, I mean, the uh, gluteus maximus of Kelly Calzone. Now, did he do this video because he's very smitten? Is he smitten by Kelly Calzone? Yes, yes. Well, fun. That's okay. That's okay. Yeah, but don't lie. Don't lie. I do it. I, I do it every day when I go to the gym. Yeah, but don't Please give. But about. don't give misinformation to the public because you're smitten by a woman. Woman. Oh, what's that song? Uh, 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 no, a uh, uh, young girl, get out of my mind. Your, uh, my love for you oh, is. Girl, get out of my. My it's love like for that. you is way oh, out of line. Oh, you're, you're much too young. Yeah, that was a Gary Puckett in the Union Snatch. I mean, Gap, right? Was that? Or is that the. Who is that? <laughs> Uh, da, da. You know, I mean, I mean, I think they know that Kashi's coming to Yuri's gym in Connecticut because, because everybody that's involved with with these phony baloney uh, uh, sales hype steel mace seminars, they follow uh, Kelly Manzo's page, so they must know that a real Polyvon is coming to Yuri's gym. But do I well, see something about payback? There's gonna be payback. Do I see these knuckleheads booking Kashi? No. You're idiots. I'm telling you right now. That you're gonna make that poor man fly all the way here just for Connecticut and then fly all the way back to Sydney, Australia? That's not nice. Really. The poor guy, he's a polygon. He's in April. April flower. April showers bring May flowers. 
Does April showers also bring golden showers in the Hilton Hotel in Southern Connecticut? I need a golden shower someday, just like Donald Trump got in Russia. Well, he got the peepee. -pee, the right. a golden shower. He got the tall Russian peepee -pee girls in, in his hotel room. I want to go to Ireland. I might find a special bosomed, wide-hipped Irish girls with green eyes. Yeah, the only... I want a, a, a bunch of uh, golden showers in, in Ireland. I love but the only Irish. problem, the only problem with Ireland yeah. is there... Yeah. The, but they're Catholic girls. I don't think they get too wild. I like Catholic girls. But I don't think Catholic girls get too wild. That's the that's well, the they only. They get wild. They can get wild. They don't like the nun teachers. One not time, good. one time, a, one time a cat lick, like my grandparent, my my family, they couldn't pronounce the word Catholic. They said cat. Catholic girls are good. They're, they're naughty. They said cat lick. They they said the only you thing. Remember the 1980s? And I can't think of the 1980s. Well, I think, Anyways, I, I, digress. I think the girls that went to Catholic school, like the couple that I dated, they, uh, on a date, they were like bulls in a china cabinet because I think they were rebelling, like you said, Jeff Sambello, they were rebelling against the strict uh, 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 rules by the nuns in the uh, Catholic uh, school. So when the girl says, I want you to know that we are not going to have I sex. Remember. The little Catholic girl, right? I'm Italian, so I can say it, okay? Because I was raised Catholic. Anyway, <laughs> um, but who wore the beautiful Jordache jeans in the 1980s? Who wore the Calvin Klein jeans of the 1980s? Brooke Shields. Who, right? who, who pushed up all the hair? That, the Joey Buttafuoco in the 1980s. The Joey Buttafuoco, right. Yes, uh, 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 um, and uh, that was Amy Fisher, right? Yeah, and then there was uh, Cheryl. Who who was it? Cheryl what Teagues. Was your name? Amy Fisher. Mm. And then it was Cheryl Teagues. It was uh, uh, what do you call it? Brooke Shields? A young a young Brooke Shields, who yeah. uh, had a real pain in the ass for a mother. By the way, her yeah, mother yeah, was yeah. a real pain in the ass. Nothing comes between me and my child. Right, and then she did Blue Balls, or I mean Blue Lagoon, or whatever the hell that movie. Was. <laughs> yeah, we saw a little red puddle in the in the Blue Lagoon. Remember that? Oh yeah, the red puddle. Oh, was that? Oh, the blue oh lagoon. she had she shot her menstrual cycle into the into yep. the lagoon. Oh, yep. that that's hot, yep. man. That's sexy. That's hot. That's one of the scenes. Yeah. Old enough to bleed. Old enough to butcher. Is that how this is not piggish. This is, hey, this is history. Which James and I is talking American pop culture. And it really right. happened in millions and millions, hundreds of millions of dollars was spent to produce that movie. And I still, so, and I still say, I, mon I still say, I mon have been, and I, and I, I have been, because I have love. I have been. Oh, that's, uh, what's his name? Uh, Jimmy Swaggart. Jimmy Swag, I have seen. Hey, I, I, I mean, how bad of a man I am. But yet, the same people, James, <laughs> James, this, I'm serious for how to get their face. How do the same people that call us out as bullies are the same dumb, dumb <laughs> people that here will worship liars? Does that make sense? <laughs> and you're absolutely right. And I still say Monica Lewinsky. Even hand job. <sighs> and they're freaking off all these uh, instructors and hair worshiping them. Yeah, but we're the bullies. I'm just talking truth here about a movie. Listen, all all comedy and jest aside, we're giving you the absolute truth of rea and reality of life. I still say Monica Lewinsky should have donated her blue dress to the Smithsonian I Institute. So got mm, got the. Oh man, that, that poor guy feels so bad. Yeah, yeah, but that, that blue. Was yeah, but this. The, yeah, but this. But the stained blue dress should be in the Smithsonian Institute right now. I think. I think it's. So. I think it should be. But but any, right here we're worshiping. Right now, now, um, uh, Ken must be uh, with a client now because he, teaching. he's gotten quiet. But where are the others? Are, are they afraid to participate in the show? I don't know. 
like like people are afraid to. They are afraid because last week I, I I saw 37 views from the recorded show. It might have been it might have been more than that though, right? Wasn't it in the 40s? 64, 64 views from the recorded show because nobody wants to get nominated. No, golden nobody wants to become a castrated capon, and nobody wants to get chewed out by us in, alive. Here's the, here's the deal. They will not get nominated for the golden capon if they contribute to the show. Then they're right. exempt. Now, now, you notice all the spectators that don't comment. They, they don't leave commentary. But they like to whisper. Whisper, whisper. Oh, yeah. okay. oh. Oh. Oh, 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 we, we, oh, we, we worship the person who gives. They're going to get payback. Like, like, an, like the man. I'll give you the date. So if somebody wants to mug me or beat the crap out of me, I will literally be there on Terrence Avenue by Party Fly in the Hasbrook Heights Nelson Hotel on the 10th floor. Because I I have held them honors points as I was there the tenth floor, right? Right. Anyways, come and beat the crap out of me if you want. I th I can picture you giving the the stand the man. September. I can picture you giving the stand the man Stasiak heart punch to someone. I'd, I'd have respect for them if we could have an open debate. Yeah, well, there. So, you know what? September, twenty nineteen. Um. Uh, I will be coming back from Southampton, New Jersey, wherever the heck Southampton is. Where now, is that? Southampton, I don't know, but I have to, uh, we have to look on Google Maps. We have to try to find out. Now, uh, I have to ask you. Italian powerlifters, now, which I will commit to Jersey. When, so when, I tell my fellow Paisano, all buffed up and naturally muscular. Now, copper dividing rods. When Mr. Mace Man, when Mr. Mace Man told uh, a young Indian man, uh, "I don't care about your your Hindu god of power, Hanuman. I don't care about your monkey god. I don't care about your religion." Was he disrespecting? the the ancient history of a circular training when he made that statement because he really did make that statement yeah but didn't the great gamma actually promote the use does of he training the yeah it says, it says yes did he the great guy the fact that uh mr maceman does mr maceman doesn't even mention the great gamma's name he doesn't mention anyone from the history of circular training. Is he in this for a fast profit? Because he's a wrestling coach. Is he in this for a fast buck just to make a profit? Mr. Mace Man is. Okay. All right. He says yes. Does that mean? Does that make him equal to a a car dealer or an infomercial huckster? Yes, yes, that hmm. makes him equal to that. Uh, oh, when he returned, when he returned to the Salt Lake, when he returned to Austin, Texas for the second time, is it because uh, the turnout was very good and they, had, they, they got a lot of suckers in Austin that signed up? Not working again. He says yes. Okay. Did he, did he go... Did he go back to the Salt Lake uh, by himself? No, no, he brought that fucking leprechaun with him. Did he go to the Salt Lake with Eric Doyle, the guy that left profanities on my vo home voicemail? That son of a the bitch. Poor mother had a hero that that, to that toothless too. cocksucker. What did your sister say? Remember she said. Who's that nut? Who the hell is that nut? Yeah, you're right. That's that's what they said. So he went with Eric Doyle. Do you was Eric Doyle was Eric Doyle involved in him blowing me off for doing the live show that he wanted to do, or was was he involved at all? 
Yeah, he was involved at all. Yeah. You're damn right. I was looking out, but I was defending the both of them when they were getting screwed over by Melody yeah. Schla Schlongfeld. Schoenfeld. Yeah. 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 I was defending the both of them. So, but is Rick was Rick Brown equally to blame for for stiffing me? Yes. Still two pussies. You're both pussy whipped. Are they both pussy whipped? And they don't have the courage to to, to, to face Melody Schoenfeld and tell her off and fire her ass? A big yes. A big, a big fast, fast yes from the Copper Divining Rods. I would have gave her the pink slip and says, you're fucking out of here. I don't care if you're a fucking Jew or not. Get the fuck out of here. So, so in other words, is this why when Mr. Mace Man used to uh, pull into the garage at the uh, Mission Viejo Country Club when, when he was about to see his wife, he had to get off the phone quick because he just... He's afraid of telling a woman's ass off when they need when they need it. Yes, is this is this uh, is this is this the sign of a of a true alpha male that does this? A big fat no. Look how fast it's going. No, no. Wow. So so a real alpha male will speak his mind and be a hundred percent honest on the money, no matter what. Male, female, good looking, ugly. Big, a big yes. So a real alpha male, if a, if a hot looking chick is, is shoveling shit at him, would he basically straighten her or straighten her out? Yes. So a real alpha male would not be so desperate and thirsty to get into a woman's pants. Is that true? Yes. Yes. A lot of these guys, including friends of mine, are they pussy whipped and, and desperate? Yes. Wow, this the, the copper divining rods are full of energy tonight. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. So, so in other words, in other words, are they are they put a lot of wisdom and truth being energized? Are these are these alternative gym owners on the East Coast? Are they uh, pussies in a different way from not uh, booking Kashi Azad because they're afraid of making the control freak Kelly angry? <laughs> she, she's like Mark Zuckerberg. She has to control uh, the whole circular. Hey, wait a minute. Is Kelly a female version of Rick Brown? A big yes, a big yes. Does she, uh, uh, does she like, like, is she possessive with the people she books at Yuri's gym? A giant yes, very fast, very fast. So she wants control like a feminist of the circular talk training industry. Is that true? A giant fast yes, yes. So these other people don't want to get heat from her, but 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 isn't the fifty mile radius rule very fair? A giant fast yes. I um, think I think it is the fifty mile radius rule. So these these guys are basically pussies for being afraid of Kelly Manzone, right? A big fat freaking yes. You know what? If I had a gym. No matter where it is, I would definitely book uh, Kashi Azad ahead of time. And Richard Army Maguire. And Richard yeah. Army Maguire. And real, real polyvalent, real, real drug, real. Teacher. re real teachers, real drug-free athletes. You know, I mean, the real it's, martial artists. Richard Army Maguire, the real martial artist. He, he, right. He's he's a Hall of Fame martial artist, and he's the. He's the one that people tried, picked his brains and never gave him credit. Poor man. This is why he got fed up Don't with him. And he quit Facebook because he got sick and tired of everybody, everybody leeching off of him and uh, mooching off of his knowledge without saying a word. And Paul Walkowinski, I heard, was bothering him for a long time. 
you know, I never gave kudos to Richard Army McGuire. And also Richard Army McGuire washed his hands with Rick Brown too. You know, but Rick Rick Brown told Eric Doyle that he doesn't they don't get along. He didn't tell him the truth. So this is why they when uh when Paul Walk Winsky where, where, where is the truth? I can't. <laughs> now, now, it's like it's schizophrenic over here. Now, 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 has has the, the cream one that used to have this little thing? She used to hold a hand up, right, in front of her with her fingers together, and then she turn it like two face. You know, you know, did your grandparents do that too? Yeah, yeah. It's like saying oofa, 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 oofa. Now, so, now. Now has the uh has, has the has the fitness has the physical fitness industry corrupted and created all this unnecessary drama with circular it's training? Like a foolish little toy. It's a fucking uh, toy yes. with a piece of metal on the end of it. Yes, it says yes. Yeah, it says yes. It is the industry that created created the drama. So, now, now, physical fitness, whether it be circular or not, divining rods. Is it? Is it? Is it? Is it? Is it, just, is it a very simple science and not rocket science at all? Elbows up, elbows down. Yes. So, so torque training. I mean, circular training is just based on simple torque, isn't it true? Divining rods? Yes. So it is the lunacy oh, so or. Keep your hands together, sorry. Elbows up, elbows down, keep your hands together. Three sentences. So it is the greed. Just believe that we can learn it. So is it greed and ego that has created this unnecessary drama in the fitness world? My beautiful son, who's a special needs, can do it. Yes. See, it is human. It is, it is human sinful. He loves to do it. Mikey loves to, to do ten by twos with the mate. Loves and it. he's getting better at it too. Now, it is. It, it is. Is it the sinful nature of humans that have uh, caused all this drama and corruption and greed in in the physical fitness world, including circular training? Yuppies. Seek attention and yes. yuppie things when we love, like yes. like Jerry Seinfeld when, when uh, the superintendent there, uh, what was his name Salvo, whatever his name was, right? Sal says, Oh, love me! Oh, look at me! Look at me, love me! Accept me, oh, give me attention. Uh, so, <laughs> so the it's thing is, so um, uh, I also like the episode. When Jerry tried to uh, uh, get his rented car from the airport, and they didn't, they couldn't, they couldn't hold the reservation. That anybody could take a reservation, but you have to, you have to be able to hold the reservation. That was good. Anyway, I'm gonna beat the shit out of this car. He said, "I'm gonna beat the hell out of this rented car." Now, so, so it is, it is human. The human psyche that has screwed up a very simple, a very simple science called physical fitness. Is that true, divining rods? Yes. So it's all it's all human nature that has messed up the fitness world and industry. Should the fitness world ever become an industry, divining rods? You mean like the pharmaceutical? The ethics of the pharmaceutical industry or the diamond industry? It says no. It says no. It should not be an industry. Uh, uh, it, it, the same mentality, the same greed that uh, cor corrupted the physical, the physical fitness, the physical, fitness, uh, the physical fitness world, the same greed that corrupted the phys physical fitness world and in, in, in industry. Is it the same that corrupted? The uh, retail industry, like fine jewelry, eighty-five dollars for a, a man who has had surgery and his guts uh, cut open, 
Oh, that'll be eighty dollars for a taxi cab ride to your house. Get out of here. Oh yeah. $80. That's uh, and I'll name names. I'll name names. I'll name names. Uh, the Holy Name Hospital in Teaneck, New Jersey says you cannot take an Uber home. We won't let you. You have to pay eighty dollars to our I says, Fuck it. Get the hell out of here. I ain't giving you eighty bucks to go. Eighty dollars. She says she says, unless you got a relative picking you up, I so I lied. I said, yeah, my brother's picking me up. Yeah. Mm. So divining rods. Because this is getting ridiculous. So divining what rods. The fact that the fact that you we have so much lying, deception, and greed in the physical fitness world. Um, and and the very fact that these gym owners would most likely book a steel mace lying crook. Would these gym owners prefer to book a sales hype steel mace crook instead of a true polyvon? Yes. Mm -hmm. Well, Richard, I'm in McGuire. I'd look for him in two seconds. Does, did Richie, Richard Army McGuire separate himself from all these, these thieves? All these bad influences. All these thieves and charlatans on, on purpose? Is this so he's actually, so Richard Army McGuire, McGuire is actually a lot smarter than us two guys. Yeah, he, he, he backed off. All right, let, let's, let, yeah, but hold on. We're, we, the, the copper divining rods must, must focus and concentrate in serenity. Now, did Richard Army McGuire uh, quit Facebook because of all these crooks in the circular training industry? Mm. Yes. Quick, yeah, quick yes. Uh, oh, do you have any particular yes or no's for the uh, divining rods? Mm. Anything, anything above? It's probably going to be about fitness and not about your, your, uh, Personal agenda, right? I love um, to I love to sink my teeth into a corporate CEO's neck, but you you don't want to go there. So, all right, so all right, let's keep it fitness. Let's keep it fitness. But airplanes and hotels cost money. Yeah, you on a country like a like a, a, a corporate CEO of a crown lot. Yeah, so so they would so these gym owners, these gym owners would go for the lying, deceptive sales hype of a steel mace seminar person, instead of a true, honest polyvon with integrity. Is this yeah. part of the reason why Kashi Azad is not being book solid in the United States? Mm -hmm. Yes. Oh, shame on you! You're all despicable. The divining rods say you suck. The divining rods say you all suck. Every one of you is. All of you. The sad will end soon, James. All of you. All of you alternative uh, uh, gym owners suck. Okay. Yeah, I don't call it unconventional it's fitness. I, you know Yeah, uncont unconventional. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, how come uh how come Richard Army McGuire was how come Is it shift? Is it underhanded that Scott Sonnen is was able to trademark the words "circular uh, training"? Yes, because in copper dividing rods, the word "circular" and the word "torque" and the word "training" aren't they all in Webster's dictionary? Yes. 
You know, oh yeah, the, the divining rods are very energetic this week. Uh, so when he threatened Richard Army McGuire with a lawsuit for typing those words, was the judge that gave him such a trademark one of those judges that, you know, would take a bribe? Yes. In other words, it's like it's like a crooked kangaroo court, basically. You know right? who's going to prevail in the aftermath of all this? Yes. People, honestly, like the Chairman of Fire, and Stephen, you know, just to name a few. Yeah, well, well, yeah, well, Ken, Ken Thiessen, you know, uh, um, you know, because of, of, a, of a couple of tragedies going on in his life, you know, he, uh, he doesn't, he doesn't want any aggravation, but he, I'm proud of him because he has, he has literally, literally created a car USA because right. he, he has taken the hardcore, the hard, you know, he doesn't have to get dirty without. Yeah. Who did all the dirty work? All we need Ken to do is do what he's doing best at, and that's helping people. Listen, his garage in Boca. That's, that's Ken's mission is to help people. Ken Thiessen's garage in Boca Raton, Florida, contains all of the homemade, ancient Acara tools for his clients. For his clients, yeah. is they're all there. He takes it with him. He's got the rope climbing. He's got the the hole for digging. He's got the jewelries. Uh, I mean, honestly. Is Anthony Laura um, or um, uh, Omara Petras trained like Ken Thiessen? No, 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 no. They go to fancy schmancy. No, they only like to go to modern gyms with like freaking machines and carpeting and all that. Oh. No, no, they don't. They don't do. Uh, uh, but but right now Mario is more involved with uh, uh, holistic diet. He, he, he has to make a living, and he, you know. Well, he uh, he's 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 more he's mostly involved with his dietitian yeah. uh, uh, portion of his of his service. He you know he's providing a a uh, healthy dietary service right now. I, I hope I meet uh, I hope I meet Mario. When I travel to New Jersey uh, for the September twenty uh, second uh, event. Well, you've been here two times, and two times, uh, his driver uh, 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 said, "Let me know when Jeff is going to be in the area," and I let him know ahead of time. Talking about Salvatore, and, and he don't. He, I haven't met him yet. You know, nobody, sh nobody shows up. Your sister went out of her way to, to either go to your mom's house or to meet us at the Royal Hibachi Buffet. That's right. That's, That's right. But way out of the way. But but no no the you know what? I don't say nothing. If if they see that you're going to be in uh, participating in an event in New Jersey, and they see it on Facebook, they see it on Facebook. I'm not going to send no more invitations to anybody. That's it. I'm done. I'm done. I, listen, you know how many times I was supposed to join them uh, to the uh, to the raw, the organic raw dairy farm, and they went without me. They went two times without me, and they said that I was gonna I was gonna video tape it. I was gonna go, they were they were going to go live the first. Live on YouTube the first time they went without me. Second time they what they said they were going to bring me so I could videotape it with them. Never happened. Nobody called me. You know, uh, and and also it's it's kind of rude to let somebody know spur in a moment. I don't like anybody letting me know anything spur in a moment. I like to have at least a good solid. 12 hours or 24 hours in, in advance so i could set my alarm clock i could charge my sony camera and i could be prepared you know what i mean i like to be prepared yeah you know not none of this spur of the moment calling me the last minute saying all right, all right you ready you ready to go no i'm not ready to go so anyway that's that's uh that's the gist of it listen you gym owners, 
You should be ashamed of yourself. If this poor man, Kashi Azad, who's the most qualified person, aside from uh, Richard McGuire, the most qualified person, and maybe Steve Maxwell, I don't know him well enough, the most qualified person of honesty and integrity to do a seminar today, if you don't book him solid up and down the East Coast, at least the East Coast, then you are despicable. You should be ashamed of yourselves. You're only in it to make a fast buck with this fucking steel mace craze seminar uh, fad where you're telling everybody that just like the uh, like Dragon Door uh, with the with the kettlebell, you're telling everybody that the mace does everything. Everything. You name it, it does it. You're only concerned about profit, and uh, it's really a damn shame. You know, so that's all I have to say. And now I am going to close out the show, which was fantastic because Jeff mentioned his events coming up. And Jeff, refresh. Uh, April 6th in, in, in uh, Augusta, Maine. And um, then I'm listening again um, at, at a non drug tested. Uh, so I'm going to go forward in. in um, on May 11th, but that's okay. Yeah. Um, I'd love to compete. That's a different federation, and I'm coming back to USAPL on September 22nd with the with the big boys. That's great, and 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 he is his Jeff Sambello's muscle and ministry with a message is going strong. He's yep. he's turning he's turning he's turning people's lives around in many ways in a positive way. He, he uh, there are people that hit rock bottom that he has totally turned their lives around and and they're making them into leaders so someday that they'll, they'll teach young men uh and bring them up just like i had mentors when i was in my yeah. early 20s i was a troubled youth and i had mentors in the world of powerlifting who kicked me in the ass a few times yeah and, and straightened me out and, and and when i say ministry this is what a ministry is all about not about greed and profit, but about helping people. You come out of my pocket. The gasoline money, the hotel money, and everything else has come out of my pocket because I love, I want to help uh, men in this world yeah. and uh, give them the dignity back that this upside down society right. is taken away from them. And this is a true Christian warrior that you're hearing right now at Jeff Zambello. So when I say muscle and, and ministry with a message, I mean it. This I mean it. This is the very beginning. And uh, he worked out an agreement with his his local church, from what he told me. He uh, so you will be starting again. Yep. To do uh, fitness workshops. Okay, that is good news. That's very good news because um there are many uh they have many branches all over the united states correct yep that's just canada england all over europe that's great that's wonderful to hear and uh, uh you know what i would love to be a part of this organization of this ministry because i i, I have been i have been a, uh, unfortunately i have tried other uh uh, Christian organizations that uh, let's put it this way th there were more messed up people in the church than there were outside of the church <laughs> you know to say to say the least the church is only being used as a conduit so I can reach out to men and um, we're going to try you know we're going to go that path and the word will spread yeah well you don't you don't need to be you don't need to be inside of a actual church to have no. a min to have a ministry. You you God lives in all of us. Every single person on this earth. You know, some people hide it, they don't want it, they don't want to see it. Anyway, I'm not gonna get religious on it, but right. the power of on intention here. Right. What because I'm saying it, is, uh, right. people like Ken Thesis and Richard Armand McGuire who have taught the people. They have a heart. Okay. Now, now now, pa the same way. He teaches from the now you know that you know that the uh, Palavans of of 
of a zirkene, they get involved with charitable uh, uh, endeavors. They they go out and they help the poor. You know, they, they they're not they're, they're not of the Christian faith, but they still are charitable, and um, uh, they uh, they go out to help people that are in need. And you know, it's like it's like Shaolin monks uh, uh, that know kung fu in China. They they're very giving people. They're uh, they're not uh, they're not uh, evil or violent or greedy or or selfish. They're very giving people, uh, very unselfish people. Is what I'm trying to say. So so the mentality is in the right place. We don't have to do this. We choose to do this. We choose to spend our own money teaching. We choose to do this. We choose to spend our own money teaching, helping. Encouraging, inspiring, right. lifting up people, lifting up uh, tr troubled souls, hurt souls, those uh, the unwanted people, the people that people have written off as, as damaged goods. You know what? None of us are damaged goods. You know. You know what's sad? That was yesterday. We're going to win all. We're going to tomorrow. You know what's really sad? I mean, Make it work yesterday. You know what? I'm not going to dwell on that. Yeah. But today, I get better. Maybe tomorrow I eat a peanut butter cookie. Who gives a crap? Well, uh, you know, well, like when, I, when I was at the last time I was at the Royal Hibachi Buffet, I had flan with vanilla ice cream. I mean, yeah. that, that's not holistic holistic health but it tasted damn good but i don't do it often you know so don't do it often but we're there to encourage but but what's but really uh, what's really is a untapped potential what what's to, what's to, uh, networking can yeah. occur what what's, oh, oh that's a nice woman oh she's such a nice woman oh, oh, oh he's such a nice man oh you need to hire him you need to hire him you know hire him? what yeah you know oh, what's no. In and underwear just like everybody else does. You know what's really sad in today's modern society is how human life has a price tag on it. Like in other words, if you you have a job or a career and money and you have money, people kiss your ass left and right. They look up to you. As soon as but the homeless people are invisible. As soon as you become broke, flat, flat, broke. You are invisible in today's modern society, yep. and that is very sad. No, but not in our eyes. Ask Ken Thiessen if he writes people up. No. <laughs> Ken Thiessen lifts up. I see the, the young people that, that Ken Thiessen coaches. Listen, you know, okay. what Ken, you know what happened to Ken? It's Adam McGuire. He's not going to write up uh, students. You, you know what happened to Ken? This, uh, you know what? No, no this, there's a person, there's a person that he knows that he gave free, 15 hours. he gave free advice to this person for the longest period of time. This person was, is a wealthy Wall Street uh, muckety muck, uh, tycoon. This person moved down to South Florida and after all the free advice that Ken Thiessen gave this Wall Street individual and I'll, I'll I'm, I'm putting it very mildly this person turned around and hired some rinky dink uh trainer and not ken in other words instead of throwing ken biz, the uh, some business since ken helped him because he picked ken ken Thiessen's brains for the longest time he did not show any appreciation you know for what, ken. Ken? yeah we all get better for that you know, I'm going to tell you something, buddy, and I always tell you this, my brother. Yeah. Because of that 15-hour drive experience, or after experience, <laughs> it has made me more, so much more knowledgeable. All these, let's just say, um, speed bumps in the world. It just makes me stronger. You know, you, you learned. The I'm so happy the truth was revealed. Well, you 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 you. I have to have my parents. You came. The truth was revealed. The truth was revealed. I have to have my McGuire. Truth was revealed.
real. Yeah, what did my grandfather used to call it? The school of hard knocks. The school of yeah. hard knocks. Now, you came down here two times, and two times you had, you had very... I had a time my life down there. You had very positive, wonderful experiences, but you also got really pissed off. But you learned from your negative experience. Bad attitude. You, you, bad attitude. I'm no, hungry. No, you learned. You you learned from you took Dan you took Daniel Ramsey's class and you learned a lot. You yep, you, 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 you learned a lot about the scumbags in in physical fitness. Uh, you sure did learn, and and then you spent. You mean the wrestling coach? Right, right, and and you also, you know, spending quality time. Me and you spending quality time was also an educational experience. So. I think, I think that it's possible that the two visits down here laid the foundation for you to be inspired to do this uh, workshop ministry uh, program. It might have inspired you, like everything that took place, you know, 2018, now, might have, it might have been. It might have been a uh, a jump start. Anyway, Mikey's coming in now. What Mikey say hi to Uncle Jim? Yes, hey, and Mikey. Mikey, I'm gonna do the juice heart. We're on a live show, honey. Come on, Mikey. Mikey, tell Uncle Jim. Elbows up, elbows down, hands together. He's coming. He's just taking his jacket off here. He went swimming and he. Uh, going some errands and stuff. Uh, Mikey. Yeah, maybe, maybe he's. Okay, honey, we're, we're on a live show, honey. Maybe he's preoccupied. Hey, Mikey. He's coming. All right. Anyways, keep talking about something else there. everyone for being on our live show this live show is going to also be on YouTube because luckily Facebook that hawk nose son of a bitch allows us to download these live shows so this will be on YouTube because <coughs> for the past two weeks I have had the pleasure of having my co-host Jeff Zambello on audio and not not just Kent Thiessen participated too. Yes, sir, Ken Thiessen, but I'm saying I had my co-host on the show via audio from Google Hangouts and I I, I am very and this is what makes this show worthy. It's a show. Right, it's it's worthy of going on YouTube, and it will go on YouTube. And uh, Shofar, Trumpet of Truth. <laughs> All right. And Bosun's whistle, and we'll say goodbye. Or good night, whatever. Not goodbye, good night. <whistles> Arr. Thank you, and take care. God bless you all. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.